Hello everyone, this is meteorologist Adam Monson from WAPA Puerto Rico. Let me give you the most recent information on Tropical Storm airing as of 5 p.m. Thursday, August 14th, 2025. Tropical Storm Erin is located about 800 miles east of the northern Leeward Islands. It's in latitude 16.7 degrees north and then longitude 51.2 west. The maximum sustained winds have increased to 60 miles an hour and is moving west at 17 miles an hour and its central pressure has dropped to 998 millibars. The reconnaissance aircraft is on its way tonight. That is going to be very important because it's going to be studying the wind field of Erin. And this data will be extremely important for improving the forecast and also issuing watches or warnings across the Northeast Caribbean. Until now, all estimates um, have been based on satellite observations, but now uh, we have uh, current data, uh, especially about the wind field of the storm. As a matter of fact, the National Hurricane Center issued a um, tropical storm force watch for uh, Saba, Anguilla, Barbuda, St. Martin, St. Bart, St. Estatius, and this means that tropical storm force winds are possible within 48 hours. We expect the storm to become a hurricane tomorrow afternoon by 2 p.m. and uh, should move about 180 to 200 miles from the Leeward Islands. And this is the area specifically with that tropical storm watch. We still think that the strongest sustained winds should remain over the ocean. Most uh, forecast models uh, currently indicate that the storm score will not make direct landfall on our islands. However, the tropical storm force wind gusts can be felt across the islands. And trying to be on the side of caution, the National Hurricane Center issued the watch. The outer rain bands are increasing, the system is moving to warmer waters, and we better be prepared just in case we receive uh, more winds because of those feeder bands associated to the future hurricane. And the most important thing right now is to remain alert as the system moves across the Atlantic. The, the current projection, as I told you, is about 150, 180 to 200 miles to our north Saturday night and Sunday morning. And the greatest concern is dangerous marine conditions. From Saturday through Sunday, the seas will be very hazardous for small vessels and unsafe for swimming. And the highest risk will be, um, especially along the Northeast, the North, and the Northwest facing beaches in Puerto Rico, where there could be strong rip currents and high surf. However, you know, we still expect the, the area to move around the edge of the high pressure uh, system and then eventually move away from the Bahaman Islands and even the East Coast of the United States. In terms of rainfall, we are looking at a very wet weekend because of those feeder bands that are uh, around the circulation of the storm. So with thunderstorms and cloudiness, you know, persisting, um, rainfall probabilities are uh, more than 70% for this weekend and the amount of rainfall will be around two to four inches throughout the islands. That is the latest forecast from the National Weather Service in San Juan. Therefore, we are asking everyone uh, to be um, very alert, to keep informed in terms of the weather conditions, because we expect, first of all, high dangerous surf, heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and other indirect effects could include um, lightning, um, water spouts, localized landslides. With these kinds of gusts uh, between 35 miles an hour and higher, we can expect branches of trees on the roads uh, affecting cars. Uh, if you're driving through the highest points of the mountains, uh, that 
wind will increase. So for Barranquitas, 70 to 90 percent chance of thunderstorms this weekend in Ponce between 70 and 100 percent, especially Sunday, Guayama, 70 to 90 percent, and also for Maya West, 50 to 100 percent, and for San Juan, between 80 um, percent and more. I want you to notice that the temperatures will rise between Monday and Wednesday because of the south component of the wind given that the circulation of Erin will be toward north and that will bring very warm and hot conditions across the area. Please stay informed tonight and tomorrow the National Weather Service and the National Hurricane Center will decide if a tropical storm watch is needed for Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands.